Your Excellencies, distinguished delegates, the Global Sepsis Alliance welcomes the historic progress made in AMR advocacy, culminating in the adoption of the political declaration of the high level meeting. However, the inspiring dialogue among the political and global health leaders and the final draft of the political declaration both miss adequate focus on the major killer of children, women, and men worldwide. It is sepsis. The 4.95 million AMR-related deaths are only part of the 13.7 sepsis-related deaths. Lives lost to AMR are the lives lost to sepsis. Sepsis affects up to 50 million children and adults every year, including 20 million newborns and young children and 5.7 million pregnant women. We cannot achieve sustainable development goals, universal health coverage, or aspirations of antimicrobial resistance political declaration if we do not prioritize sepsis. We are proud that the Global Sepsis Alliance launched the very first global strategy for sepsis, the 2030 Global Agenda for Sepsis, in partnership and leadership of the Global Health Subcommittee of German Parliament. We applaud the US senators for submission of the sepsis bill and look forward to the successful outcome of the legislative process. And we call the UN member states, the UN secretariat, and the specialized agencies, as well as multiple stakeholders from public, private, academic, and civil society sectors to prioritize sepsis in the sustainable development agenda and the antimicrobial resistance agenda. I thank you for your attention.